Oh, there we go. There we are. <laughs> Luke's amazed because I've trained my camera to recognise me, so it just focuses on my face and nobody else's. And it had his name. And it says my and... name. But you can't see what we... Oh, let me see if I can drop it in. That's Why doesn't really... it say my name now? Oh, maybe it just did it before it was recording. If I film that... There we go. See, look, it knows me. See, it's focusing on my face. <laughs> Put your face forward see if it picks you up. No. Nope. I'm not the to one. Stay with me. Oh, no, I do have a box around me, but you're the more important one. Oh, you do have a box. I do. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell where we are, everybody? We are. In. Oh, I'm getting confused. I'm thinking I'm vlogging on this. Oh note. yeah. <laughs> we Hello, are delirious. We are. Good morning. Hello. I don't stop my videos like this, but we'll just go with it. Yeah. We're outside IKEA. Ah, what a joy. It's been a while. It has. The time is. 10.32 and we are, it's Monday morning and we are raring to go. We are both slightly delirious after busy weekends. Luke's been away. Yeah, been in Italy. Only Bob's. Yeah, and you've been... I've been busy. I've yeah. been clearing all of the furniture from the, the floors in the living room, the office and the hallway. Well, there's not really furniture in the hallway, but there's carpets and stuff and the flooring is going down. So... I've had a busy night. I was up till goodness knows what time doing that. Oh my god, where are you? You didn't <laughs> last night as well. Yeah, it just you know when you start it and then it just, just goes like, into the evening. Yeah. And yeah. then you carry on and then I had like bits to do. Anyway, here we are outside IKEA and I thought I'd take you for a little look around. We've both got some bits in mind that we want to get. Luke wants to look at the packs wardrobes. Yes. And some kind of shed storage. Oh, okay, great. They've yeah. got quite good options in there, I like think. The, you know the thin, narrow yeah. shelves. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The metal ones are quite yeah, good, aren't that's, they? That's yeah. what I was thinking, yeah. Um Although they've shot up. Have they? <laughs> we were talking about the, we price were having of, a... the price of things. Everything's going up, isn't it? It's bad. And we were having a little rant on the way here about how expensive everything is getting. Yeah. Those metal shelves, I swear, they used to be like... Say the price in three, two, one, Seven? fifteen. Oh! Stop it! Stop <laughs> it! I don't think fifteen quid! No, they used... Seven pounds! On, you know the, metal, the tall metal shelves? Yeah, they're like... I they're... swear to you, they were seven pounds. Bayek. When did you last go in there? Maybe... You're, you've been in more recently. Uh, but I'm talking like... Last year? Probably 10 years ago. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, fair enough, okay. But it yeah. creeps up, and then... Yeah, but how much are they now? I think they must be in Like 19? Yeah. If they're over 20, I'm we're going to kick them. off in there, and now yeah. we're going to storm out. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got the family card? Uh, no. I Do think you? we need to get the family card. Yeah, because you get cheaper prices, don't you? Yeah, and I Is think it, oh. if we get the family card, we can investigate a cheaper lunch. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I've yeah, heard you that can, you can yeah. get really good deals on like the meatballs. Yeah, which I will Little tip for you. absolutely eat. Do yeah, you? I'm in the mood for some meatballs, definitely. Um, so we're looking at the packs wardrobes, yeah. we're looking at shed storage. Yeah. Have you got a shed? <laughs> we do, but we haven't got a roof on it. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna um, take the shed apart and yeah. recycle the wood and get a smaller. It's too big. Oh, you're getting a new shed. Yeah. 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 Got you. So that's the plan. Yeah. Some kind of organisation just for now until the warmer months, yeah. and then we can get a smaller shed and kind of just yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. And the sun is coming out. <laughs> And what have I got to do? I'm going to look at the Pax wardrobes as well, because I want to extend mine. So I've got three sections already, yep. and I want to get one more. And I'm thinking that the extra bit we won't have a door on it, so it'll be like open. Ah, oh, nice. Op open access. Nice. Open plan. What would you put in there? Um, jacket, just coats, yep. or like jackets, and then some drawers. Clever. Because you can get drawers in the packs as well. Yes, you can. So you can have a proper look at the packs. Yeah. And. There was something else on my list. Oh, potentially a draining board. Right, yeah. We can and we'll just look that. at what's new in, if there's any new stuff for springtime. Oh, I've got an idea for a draining board if you don't get it yeah. in there. Have you seen one in here that you know you want? No. Oh, there's a brand called Joseph Joseph. Oh, yeah, I've heard of them. Have yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. And they sell it in HomeSense. And oh. they're, they're space saving. Oh, let's look at those. Yeah, I'll probably that, hold off. Yeah. I've got a feeling that the IKEA ones aren't going to be the one anyway. Really? Yeah. We'll have a look anyway. I feel like they might be too big. I've only got a little kitchen. Oh, that sun! Hmm. Woo! Um, look at that! Yeah, so we're going to go to HomeSense as well. Yeah. And Which looks like two. Targets. <laughs> <laughs> that light is not nice. Oh, gosh. So, join us. There we are. As we investigate IKEA, HomeSense, and the home of the Bugs. So, first of all, we have stopped in the little cafes you come into IKEA. They've got quite a reasonably priced menu in here. We've both got ourselves a little coffee. You can get one this size for £1.50. You can get a smaller one for a pound, which is really good. We just feel like a bit more caffeine before we 
Just a drop. Hit up Ikea. Yeah, just a splash. <laughs> and what else have they got here? All sorts of drinks, isn't it? And they've also got a few bits for sale here. They've got some like oat milk and various bits and pieces. Those look nice. Those the ones on the bottom. Yeah. yeah. Dumbles. Dumb Dumble? Dumbles. It looks like they might be similar to dimes. Oh, I need I'm to get sure. some more. We finished the bag. I think the last time I bought a bag of dimes was with you. Oh, was it? Mm, and it's lasted that while. When we, was that? Before Christmas Before time. Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Whenever we last came, I bought a bag of orange. Maybe autumn. Yeah. You know the mini bars? Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. finished them last night. Oh. Uh, do you know what? I'm not a big fan. Are you not? No. Of, of dime? Or no. Of orange? Yeah, of dime. Yeah. Just of dime full stop. Why? I think it's the, um, I think it's the... What are those things in it? Like little sugary bits. The sugary shards. Yeah, I think they're just bits. Yeah, they're too like hard. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a controversial. I know. Some people love dime, but some yeah. people also don't like it. It wouldn't be my choice if there was like lots of chocolate options anyway. No, I don't. I, do you know what I like? The dime cake that dime. they do here. Yeah, the dime yeah, cake that's is nice. really good. I was going to make some cookies with the dime bar, so maybe you'd like those. Oh yeah, that sounds good. In like a cookie dough. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Dime chat for you. Right, quick sip of the old coffee. We better get cracking. Okay, mm. in we go. So the first thing I've spotted is this complete bedroom for under £380. So I thought I'd have a quick peek in here just to see what kind of products we've got within that price. Okay, so this bed frame is one of the new lower prices. This is down to £75 for the simple wood frame. I actually had a double version of this when I first moved into my home. I had it as kind of like um, the bed for a while and it was great. We have a little rail over here. The desk here is it's about 30 pounds. That's good isn't it? That's a decent sized desk. And then we have the shelving. This is what Luke was talking about getting. Oh, 19 pounds. There we go. Yeah, I definitely remember when this, I'm sure this was seven pounds back in the day. Yeah. But they're good though. Yeah. I do I rate these. That probably would be a good shout, wouldn't it? Yeah. They're not particularly deep, so it just depends on what you're putting on there. But if you're just stacking up like paint tins That's and things like that, yeah. yeah. Then, um, they're pretty good going. Mm. Oh my goodness, I thought someone was getting escorted out for a second then. <laughs> and it's not us for once. <laughs> so yeah, they're strong. So if it is just like, or your little toolbox, or whatever, they are pretty decent. And obviously, yeah, shouldn't rust out there. It's not bad, is it? Yeah, it's a shame it's not one of the new lower prices, eh? <laughs> These scub sets are brilliant. They fold up flat and then you zip them and you pop them in your drawers and they're so good to help you fold up underwear and t-shirts and things like that. And it's five pounds for a set of six. I always end up picking up some of these when I'm in Ikea and they are, yeah, really, really handy. So I might actually pick up a set today. So I've still got one drawer that doesn't have any in. And you can also use them in different areas of the home, obviously, as well. You know, you could probably put some little toys in there or um, anything so you want to kind of sort out into different sections just to organise your drawers. I like this end of bed thing going on. A bit of storage in there. This rattan. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. It doesn't look like Ikea to me. Put the words out me, man. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, very cool. Yeah. What's the price on it, does it say? Let's spot it somewhere else. That's just the throw, 22 quid. Yeah. This bedding's nice. That is cool. I do you like that. And we've got, oh yeah, there's a matching kind of side table over here. that also has like a basket, bit of storage in it. That's good. That is 79 pounds. Not sure if that's a bit flimsy. Well, it has got the edge on it, so it would be quite handy for the pumpkin situation, knocking everything off constantly. <laughs> I do like this kind of separation, but that's not something you can buy, is it? It's just no. something they've designed, but that is cool. Yeah. What have we got in here, apart from Lisa? Area. Good old Lisa. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Giving us the eye. There she is, look. Um, oh, that's nice. The mirror's nice. Yeah. Nice, size. nice big chunky frame on that. Mm. And what else have we got? Armchair. These shelves are rather nice. I'm thinking of taking the top cupboards out of my kitchen across um, the left hand side. You know, the upper cupboards, yeah, the upper, upper units. units. Yeah, really? so I'm thinking maybe doing some shelves. Yeah. Yeah. Above the so, uh huh, yeah. 
And these are actually quite nice. I feel like they hold quite a lot. I'm always slightly worried with shells if you've got like heavy plates and things. Yeah, you know, you want to make yeah. sure that they're. They look, they, they look quite um, like timeless. As well. They do, yeah. I quite like the design of that. Mm. It would go quite nicely with the old cabinet that I've got. Yeah. Nice, they are £32 and that's including three brackets. That's not too bad. Because you buy the wood these days and it's like <laughs> getting on for that, yeah. Exactly, yeah. If you do scaffold boards, cheap option, isn't yeah. it? But yeah, I like them. So we have some packs here. I quite like these doors actually. Yeah, they're very cool. I didn't know that they did them. Yeah, they've got quite a few different shaker style ones. They've got ones that have got like the squares as well. Yes. We'll have a look yeah, as we go round, yeah. yeah. And then you can obviously have the different combinations inside. That is so smart, isn't it? What are the drawers like? Pretty deep, aren't they? Mm. The thing with the packs, it is a really deep space. Yeah. So the drawers are quite handy because I've got some storage boxes on mine, but you have to really like drag them out and they get quite heavy, but that's quite, it's quite neat actually. And there's a little trouser hanger. I don't think I'd use that. No, I think that's quite <laughs> a lot of space. For... That takes up a lot of space for a few pairs of jeans or trousers, doesn't yeah, it? Agreed. That's a good size though, isn't it? Yeah, and you can get, yeah, you've got space usually for like a top shelf and then I've got two rails in mine, so I have like two lots of clothes. Yeah. They are good, especially if you've got the ceiling height because you can get the taller packs And then they've got a corner option here. So if you want to, you can kind of take them around the corner like this in your space and then goes in like that. So you do get quite a bit more space in there. Does that one open then? I'm confused. No. Why doesn't that one open? Yeah, it should. It would normally, wouldn't it? Because <laughs> there's stuff behind it. What? Oh, it does open. I'm being an idiot. <laughs> it opens That's from this side. So you, okay, so if it's a corner one, it opens like this. There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, you have this bit which is slightly shorter if you have a corner unit, so you can get into there. That makes sense. Hmm. It is very well designed, the PAX system. You can see why it's so popular. Got a little reduction on the old Glog mulled fruit drink. It's now down to £2.25. Remember when we came in here before Christmas and we were going to pick some up and then noticed it was alcohol free and didn't bother. <laughs> I like these carafes with stoppers. These are £4. They are now down to £4 from £4.50. These are quite nice for storing your laundry products in. So things like your unstoppables or your laundry powder, um, fabric softener. So they're quite a nice size. And yeah, they look nice too. We always get drawn to this kitchen. I was just looking at these tall units because I'm thinking maybe of having just one tall unit in the kitchen. And yeah, it's just quite interesting to see how they kind of configurate things in here. I like the way they've used all this top space going across the top there. So it's not for like everyday essentials, but you can keep kind of like your nice bits up there. And also with the glass, like you can have things on display, which is quite nice, keeps the dust away. I like the look of this sofa. This is 799, that is massive. That looks really sumptuous. I feel like that looks quite like an expensive design somehow. It's like a loft one. Yeah, price seems really good. Yeah, three seater. And it's this particular cover, the dark blue. Comfy? Very. Yeah. You could lie down out, out straight on that, yeah. couldn't you? Like, that is a good size. Yeah, you could fit too many. Yeah. Looks very squishy. If I sit down on this, I'm not going to want to get up. No, I know. <laughs> oh, it's really comfy. It's comfy, isn't it? You'd fit four on this, no bother. Easy. That's a good size three-seater. I like it. We're literally still in the first little bit. Oh, yeah, we've come. <laughs> you can still see the escalators yes, yeah. there. <laughs> oh. We've been here ages already. That's really nice. We're not people that rush out here. Let's check our time. Yeah. Impressed with that. I like this dark blue. And you can always get the covers from BEMS if you want to switch it up. I've still got my blue covers actually. I'm thinking about maybe like switching it up for a bit in the living room. Go back to the florals again. This sofa is a new one. This looks like it'd be good if you had quite a small space because the, yeah. the arms are really compact on this. This is 750. That's the name of it there. 
I feel like this light beige is going to be quite popular. Mm, it's a nice material. Yeah, it is, isn't it? And I like the um, covers on this, the way they go down to the floor. I think that looks lovely. That would look really nice in a little cottage. So if you're an IKEA family member, you can get a free cup of tea or filtered coffee. That's good. I can't remember my login. <laughs> Saw that. I do love these fake little staircases that they have in IKEA. Makes me want to pretend that I'm in Coronation Street and like stomp down the stairs, pretend I'm one of the plats. Which one would I be though? I feel like Luke could be Gail <laughs> and I would be Sarah Lou. They've got a, another lovely sofa. I love this really rich burgundy colour and this rather modern design but I feel like this would go well in a period property as well. It would mix and match quite nicely with antiques I think. These are nice, these little tea light holders with the ribbed glass that reflects pretty little patterns on your table. Those are just 50p. Who would be brave enough to have a sofa this colour? I mean that is white white. <laughs> Even just putting your hands on those arms, that's going to get grubby pretty quickly isn't it? Yeah I much prefer this option. It's an extra £49 but think of the cleaning costs that you would save. I do like the billies with the glass doors on. I think they're really nice. This whole combination here is now 5.15. It was 6.30. So things are coming down a bit in store. And then they've left this section open. Popped it on the corner there. You do fit a lot in these as well. So you can get the little baskets, which can keep things looking nice and tidy. Yeah, very nice. This is new, this tray table comes in black and red, that's £29. Wondering if the tray comes off. Transport drinks on that. Yeah. What's that called? The lovely yucca. <laughs> Take a selfie. It's interesting, this display cabinet here. That is, well that's pretty good, £305, but I'm confused because, okay, so they've screwed on some perspex. <laughs> I was thinking, why is that like that? So this would not be on the front here. It's just to stop people touching these old vintage cameras. Yeah, you have the glass shelving in. This is giving me kind of very kind of 80s vibes. I see a lot of this kind of stuff in the thrift shop. So I'm almost verging on whether you'd rather just get kind of an old vintage style one and pick this up from Ikea. Let's see, that's a push drawer, is it? Okay, not sure what I'm thinking about that to be honest with you, but it is a new lower price. <laughs> What else have we got? Different combinations for kind of media and stuff. These are all very modern, aren't they? These kind of designs. I think in the right properties, these can look really, really sleek and nice because they can kind of disappear into the wall. It's quite reasonable. 90 pounds. This kind of thing I would hang quite high. I feel like if you put that up out the way, maybe above a door, be quite a nice way to utilize some of the um, height in a space, especially if you have like a small space like mine. Just admiring this billy with the doors on. I quite like the way that the bottom section is hidden, but then you can have display bits on the top here. And this is a new one. This is a walnut effect. I think that looks really nice. If you like your kind of wood tone, slightly mid-century style, I think that's cool. You could also swap these out, but actually they're rather nice. With the billies, you do have a deeper option as well. These are 40 centimeters deep. I feel like that's actually very deep for books, maybe almost too deep, because a lot most books would probably sit back here, wouldn't they? What we do is, so we've got two rows. So uh -huh. The ones that we both read to the back. Oh, that's clever. And then the ones at the front are two reads. Then we'll oh. Have the front row, you can have any of them. <laughs> I love that idea. We stopped for a refuel. Indeed. Situation, I've gone for some meatballs with mashed potato, classic. Mm. And Luke's gone for the soup. Do you know what soup it is today? Um, I don't. <laughs> it's orange coloured soup. Maybe like a butternut, perhaps? Yeah. I've never had the soup in my year, but it looks lovely. Got Could a be a carrot well. and coriander for all we know. Could be, yeah. Or a pumpkin. Oh. Insert orange soup flavour of your choice. <laughs> They've got all the spring flowers out. Got quite nice lilies here. It's something I can't have in my home anymore. Well, real ones because of pumpkin and mittens. So 
These would be quite a nice little option, I think. A few of those stacked up in a big glass vase. I think they look really lovely. Very realistic. These are very nice too. Yeah, very nice indeed. These are good, these worktop savers. They kind of have a little lip on them. You just go over your worktop. If you had a damaged area, they're quite good to place on top or just next to the hob to put pans onto. I like these bamboo bowls. Oh, they're stuck. <laughs> They've got smaller ones as well. They're 15 pounds for the larger one and 10 for the smaller one. These napkin holders are five pounds, but I feel like they'd be quite nice just as little trays to use, maybe to put toiletries in or bits and pieces. Just having a look at the draining boards, I feel like that's quite practical but I feel like it might be a little bit too big for my space. Probably should have measured my sink first. I think this is the one that I've got at the moment and this is eight pounds. It's like a fold up one and you've got the little flap at the side there. They've got a really nice selection of rattan placemats here. So this one with the intricate design is five pounds. These are three pounds fifty. That's good, isn't it? You have a few different styles. I feel like this one is very nice, quite loose, but um, I like the look of that one. That looks quite premium. And then we've got, let's have a look. That's slightly different. Yeah, five pounds for those. They're all slightly muddled up. It's making me want to tidy this up. <laughs> Put that back down there. These things can be quite effective too, can't they? I've seen these in kind of outdoor cafes and restaurants. It's a kind of plastic, I think you could probably pop that in the dishwasher. Just going through the cushions and the throws. This is a rather nice blueprint. I think we spotted that earlier. One of the new ones. It is 20 pounds for your single, double to 25, 30 for I'm guessing that's a king size. This is a good little bargain. You get this set of three. So you get the um, container for toothbrushes, then you've got your hand soap in the little tray. I think that's rather stylish, £1.75. Ooh, we've got some interesting looking caddies over here. This is £9. It's a cleaning bucket and caddy. It's a new product. Quite liking the look of that. It has a Top section oh, yeah. <laughs> Did the brake go on? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it has this top section that lifts out, and then you can put your cloths underneath, your bottles on the top, and then a fold down carry handle so you could then slide this under your kitchen sink. I really like these brass coat hooks you've got this folding one that folds flat so if you have like a narrow hallway that could be quite handy 19 pounds and then we have this individual one for six and then this rather large one with four for 23 i have these rugs at home and they've been really good really versatile they're only two pounds i've used them as a bath mat just as a little extra rug when you come into the house so that you don't center everywhere they're only thin but you can pop them in the washing machine and just a nice simple natural color as well yeah i think they're really good so this rug is 10 pounds it's quite a good size 120 by 180 centimeters it's almost like a fabric though it's kind of almost not a rug if that makes sense it'd be quite nice i think just to throw down in the space but yeah it almost feels like a throw to me like a thick throw so we've just spotted these lamps luke's actually got these and they're now down to 15 pounds which i think is really good i like the little pull cords on them yeah are they quite heavy oh they are i just changed out the shades yeah they're really nice that's a good price 15 quid so you could do either side of your bed for 30. They have drawing paper for six pounds for 30 meter roll. That's good. I think these jars are good for four pounds. Good size. And I think they look nice too. I like the simple design of the lid. They're selling these pineapple plants for eight pounds. I think they're so cool. This is in the plant section. It's a plant stand, but I guess you could also use this as a nightstand. It's got kind of like a raised edge to it and a shelf underneath. I like the way this cupboard has been painted. How cool is that? Very nice. I like these basket style plant pots for indoor plants. 
They're 22 pounds, which seems quite pricey, although it's a nice wicker, but um, they've got the plastic inside, so yeah, you could pop a plant in there and water it as well. Just spotted these little Christmas trees for three pounds fifty, and it's quite a nice little design, isn't it? Love that. We're in the bit where you must eat before you come into this area. Yes. All things can get very, very upsetting, and then you get to the shelf with the one thing that you want, and it's empty. Out of stock. Well, it's lovely and quiet at the checkout. It's just breezing through this section where they've got all the bits to tempt you, popping things in your trolley, potpourri, little baskets, a dish drainer. See they're tempting me with a four pound dish drainer now. But um, well that looks very practical. I'm going to hold off for something a little bit nicer I think. It's good for four quid though, it feels nice and sturdy. A little bit for cutlery in there. So that's Ikea done, that was good. Ticked off Enjoyed the list. That, yeah. Got some inspiration. Oh, it's windy. Ooh, it's windy. <laughs> so we're heading into Home Bargains now. I've seen they've got some dried flowers that I'm interested in seeing if they've got in store. Really reasonably priced ones. Ooh, okay. Like eucalyptus and stuff and right. bunny tails and things. And yeah, we'll just have a quick look. Yes. 10 minutes. They've got some crocuses here for 1.99. So nice. I think these are some of the first flowers that come up at springtime, aren't they? Aside from snowdrops. They have a hooded bunny blanket, 9.99. Oh, that's got some toothpaste on it. <laughs> it's cute. All the Valentine's Day stuff is in store. Got gift bags here for 59p, that's reasonable, isn't it? And then down here, they've also got the Mother's Day gifts in store. Lots of mugs down there for 1.99. Little toiletry bags, 4.99. This is a good size. It's one size winter warmer. This huge, like, what do you call these? Is it an Udi? £15, that's a good price. Mm. Keep you nice and cosy. And they've got these duvet sets. How fluffy is that? I'm not sure I would like to sleep in that personally, but I know some people love a fluffy duvet. And that is £26.99. That's for a king size. Luke's just spotted this electric three-tiered heated area for £79.99, which is quite a lot cheaper than the Lakeland one. It looks like quite a decent size as well. It's only got the one um, bit going up the side here, so I'm not sure how sturdy it would be. I feel like the Lakeland one's got bars yeah, on either boots, side. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but actually it's probably a bit more compact, so worth investigating that if you're after one of these and comparing them. They've got the olive trees for 99.99. Quite big sizes, they need fluffing out obviously. These wooden planters, they're 9.99. Kind of like, barrel style. Mm. Got some really cute Easter bits in here. Look at these little chicks in wellies. These are £2.49. Oh, I really like that. <laughs> Funny, aren't they? Are they different, like, positions? Looks like that one's kind of leaning forward. Looks like they're doing the locomotion. And then we've got little bunny rabbits. I think the prices in here are great. I remember seeing these before. How much is that? I can't see the price. I do love all this stuff. It's kind of like a sign that spring is on its way, isn't it? Little bunnies that go into the grass, they're good, made out of wood. These little steaks, they're 199 And a little bunny dipping plate for 299 That's very cute. What else do we have? I've seen these, these are quite popular, aren't they? The bunny bowls for 4 99 Yeah, it's really sweet. They've got little gonks up there with bunny rabbit ears for $4.99. I like these ones with the long legs. Those are $5.99. Kind of sit on a shelf. Your mum would like that, I she think. Would. <laughs> she would. What else have we got? Oh, look at these fluffy chicks. This is nice. This metal heart and bird wind chime is $2.99. They've got my hairspray in here for $4.49, which is the cheapest I can find it now, so I'm gonna grab one of those and make it last. I've seen these scrubbers, and it's the Sonic one, isn't it, that you can get. This one is 5 99 so I think it's like a bit of a dupe for it. That could be quite good. Just looking at these baskets, these are 7 99 in here, so a lot cheaper than the ones that were in the Billy shelves in Ikea. They'd probably fit them as well, wouldn't they? Yeah, yeah I like that. Seagrass, yeah, it's nice. These Wickford & Co. candle gift sets are really nice. You've got 
four set for 2 99 here. That could be quite a nice Mother's Day or Valentine's Day gift. And they've got Yankee votives for 79p. And it's the proper Yankee candle ones. They've got holiday half here. Love the Christmas scents. Got the tissue packs here at good prices. I like this one with the little friends quotes on them. Friends are people who know you really well and like you anyway. <laughs> the faux fur rug here is rather nice. Very fluffy. Yeah, 9 99 and that feels lovely. I think that looks nice too. It's a good size, that one. I think these rabbits are rather nice. Quite a timeless piece for 3 99 And this is what I was looking for, the dried flowers here. So we have the eucalyptus and we also have lavender for £1.49. And then you've got the willow stems for 2 99 these are the h&m tube vases for 5 99 they have these little ones for 3 99 i like this one too this is 4 99 i think they're all really fab aren't they good sizes and they've got these ribbed candle holders for 4 99 that's lovely and then you've got these dried flower bouquets for 6 99 i feel like that would go everywhere in my home but yeah very pretty i mean that in other stores would be a lot more. It would. I like the little bunny tail. Bunny tails, that's actually yeah. <laughs> These are interesting. These are sunset projection lamps. So it's got like a simple little lamp that projects a sunset, but I can't really tell by the picture quite how that looks. So yeah, if you've tried that, let me know. 3 99 They've got these mushroom vases for 1 99 which are really sweet. You could probably pop a candle in there too. They've also got the pampas grass in here. Doesn't look particularly thick, but I guess... No, that's just one strand they've pulled out there. Um, I can't see how much it is. They've got cabin suitcases for 24 99 which I feel like is a pretty good price these days for one of those. I know I keep saying these days, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, they've got the soft ones too. They look like quite quite good ones. Larger ones are 29 99 and then 34 for the hard shell. That's the medium size, I think. We're just refueling on one of the Home Bargains cookies. You get five. 99p and they are fabulous so good i'll sort us out we are literally <laughs> i think this is the closest slap slap bang. Bang. <laughs> yeah. literally outside it and i've got myself a little iron brew after my scottish adventures there we are 35p for that oh thank you very much that's like a shot of iron brew isn't it's it it's like a yeah it's like a delicacy i love it <laughs> <laughs> so a bit of this and then we'll go and see what is new in home sense i hope the spring stuff's in there i think it is i can yes. see it <laughs> yeah, Easter is definitely in store. We have all of the bunny rabbits. These are kind of similar to the ones we just saw in Home Bargains, actually. More expensive. Yeah, a little bit more pricey. I like this range. It's very pretty, but nice in the garden. It's so sweet, six ninety nine. They always have the cutest little hanging decorations in here too. They seem really reasonably priced as well. Little felt bunny rabbits, those are $3.99. We have the Easter wreaths, some really pretty ones. This is a sweet little outdoor table, $29.99. Oh, it's Laura Ashley as well. I think that is lovely. I think Kate would like this. And they've got a smaller one for $19.99. They've got a wallet and grommet selection in here for Red Nose Day, where they donate £1.50 for comic relief. And you've got water bottles here, notebooks. I used to love looking at all the Wallace and Gromit things in boots. Yeah, I love a bit of Wallace and Gromit. So sweet. I rather like this kind of... I'm not sure what it is. It's like a big cube that I guess you could use as a coffee table, a footstool. It also has a bolster and a cushion. So I guess you could like prop it up against the wall and make it into a seat as well. Just having a quick rummage around in the clearance section. See if there's any good bargains. Can't see any yellow stickers. There's quite a lot of red ones. Lots of Fermoth flasks and um, drinks like water bottles. Doesn't look like massively reduced though it's usually like about a pound off at the moment i do like these citrus style bowls i feel like that would go really nicely with my emma bridgewater one that i got from the charity shop got like lemon ones here too love those colors they've got ralph lauren tablecloths for 14.99 i think the pattern on that is lovely they've got 
some other designs as well. This blue is really nice. They also do the napkins. And they're $7.99 for a set, which is good. I like this linen style one as well by Jeff Banks. That's $12.99. It's also got the matching napkins here for $9.99. They have all the spring mugs in store. Lots of them say hello spring and the little bunnies. Spring has sprung. Hoppy days. And I think these are the Ray Dunn ones. Yep, cute as a bunny. They're $5.99. The price is good, isn't it? Hop to it. Good size. And look how big this one is. It says chirp. I feel like that's almost too big. <laughs> Just looking at the glasses in here. I like the shape of this champagne flute. Use it like really nice quality. And $8.99 for two is a nice price. I feel like that would be a lovely gift for somebody. I get a lot of questions about the space age looking thing on my kitchen shelf. It looks a bit like a rocket. It's actually a lemon squeezer by a brand called Alessi. And they've got some Alessi glasses in here for just £3.49 for two water glasses. And they're really nice. I think that's a good price. They have Le Creuset mugs in store for £9.99. Nice colours here. We've got some different greens and blues. They have a whole section of books here that are like hidden storage, which I think is a nice idea. Just to tuck away little memories or bits and pieces. I love that. I'm on a candle ban at the moment, but they've got some good reductions here. Got some reduced photograph frames as well, and some of these look really rather nice and ornate. We have these silver plated ones for £8, which I think is really good. Very kind of Ralph Lauren style. They've got these Emma Bridgewater tins for £9.99. They're down from 16 with these spring chickens on them. Ooh, look at these William Morris chairs. These are £279.99. How stunning is that fabric? That is gorgeous. They have got a superb range of cushions in HomeSense. If ever you want to refresh your living room, the choice in here is fantastic. And I feel like you get some really unusual different prints, especially if you like mixing and matching things. Loads of different textures. So if you like 19.99, that has got so much detail on it. I like this footstool as well. I think it's Sanderson, and it's 229.99. I like the legs on it and the little gold casters. Oh, they've got these chairs in a different print as well with the birds on. That's very nice. And this one too. Yeah, those low footstools are Sanderson and they've got a few different fabrics here. If you want something kind of bold and statement, <laughs> that could be a way to go. But I guess not that practical if you want to switch things up. If you like mixing and matching everything, I think they're fab. This is good. Nice sort of end of bed seat for £129. And it wouldn't be a trip to home sense without a look at the random ornaments. He looks like he's had some wax crayons melted down him. We have some lips. Oh, that's a little container, a lipstick. <laughs> These are cool, the balloon dogs. I feel like I've seen this style of artwork in New York City. And what else have we got? Oh, it's a mini version of the jugs that Luke loves. How much is that? $7.99, that is very cute. But that one's a candle holder. Another cactus or a geometric elephant, a little candlestick octopus, jellyfish. This is good, this bar cart, it's reduced to £73 and it's got all this nice sort of gold edging. It's a little bit chipped but you can just buy the pens to sort of colour that in. You can get brown uh, wood pens to do that. That would fit a lot. That's an excellent price and it's on the casters too and you've got the little and rails here so you can put wine glasses all the way along. That's great. A couple more of these prints here. We have a reduction over here on that chair. What's that one down to? 203. Quite a good saving on that. I wonder why that's been reduced so much. A little poodle. <laughs> so we have the draining boards here and they have got some really great options. 12 99 and they come with a little tray so you can actually use these on a work surface if you're short of draining board space or if you've got no sinks that's just in your worktop. Uh, 16 99 for that. I think this is definitely the place to come for them but I'm going to wait till my new sink is installed and measure it correctly and just make sure that whatever I buy is perfect. But yeah, I think this is a really good shout to come here. They've even got really compact little ones like this. Look at that. $12.99. These folding steps look really handy and they're only $7.99 because they fold flat so you could keep that in your kitchen. 
just enough to get up to um you know like top cupboards these are the joseph joseph ones that luke was telling me about really nice simple design actually and i like the way you can stack the plates in any direction with these that one is what's the price on you uh 12.99 that's good i've also got some reductions on quite a lot of their towels if you're looking for some new ones yeah lots of clearance in here four pounds they have Disney hand wash dispensers here for $9.99. Oh, and look at this, DKMY, that's rather nice. That's $10.99. This is good, a set of WAM boxes for $9.99. You get four, they're nice and sturdy. Luke's chair testing. <laughs> that's nice, I like the little winged back on it. And it's a nice dark wood, like almost black, is it? Yeah. yeah. Looks a little bit low for you, I think. Yeah. I don't know. Sitting at a desk, I feel like you probably get a bit of a. I feel like when you're at the desk, your knees should be at a right angle yeah. to your. No, not your knees. I mean, your, like your legs should be at a right angle to your knees. Oh, I see. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you get it. Your, no, <laughs> your, like your lower legs should be at a right angle. Yeah, like that. When your feet are flat on the ground at your desk. Yeah, that's not bad, actually. I think I need probably something that's wheelie and got a bit of hazard. Yeah. I feel like that look looks a bit low for you. Yeah, it does look nice, but yeah, you're right. Cool though. It's very nice. So I've just got back. I only bought one thing in Ikea, which was my little compartments for the drawers. And I've also got a few bits from Home Bargains and also from Home Sense. I'm going to film those in a separate haul because I need to crack on with some moving of furniture. As you may notice, we have a gap here in my usual YouTube corner and that is because most of the furniture is now out of this room. I've basically got to get this level pretty much stripped, bare, ready for the new floors to go down. So I will be updating you on that. Very exciting. But I've got a lot to be getting on with this evening because the flooring chap is starting tomorrow. So I will film the homeware haul for you very soon. Stay tuned for that. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that one. I'll link Luke's channel down below so you can head over and watch his vlog from today, see any bits that I might have missed. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, do give it a thumbs up. Let me know what caught your eye in Ikea, in home bargains and in home sense if there's anything that would be falling into your basket if you're heading there soon if you are heading there soon happy shopping i hope you have a fab one yeah that's it for this one i will be back soon with a, another video for you i will be keeping you updated on all the home renovations i've also got a couple of hauls coming for you including a dumpster diving haul and a thrift haul as well including a little bit of luxury so do stay tuned for all of those and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you very soon bye